Hello, Good Tony. Evening. Good evening. How are you? It's a busy day. It's um, the end of the um, July. Um, all the day now we are talking about the the sailors, the um, the goals, mm -hmm. the um, the budgets. It's always stressful, but um, <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm I wait that that this day ends at twelve o'clock. Oh my God, Tony. Yes, I imagine, right? So, I mean, so it's the end of the month, right? And on top of that, some people are on vacation already. So it's kind of... Oh, yes. Um, of course, my vacation is the day... <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the day... it's a joke, but my vacation yes. is Saturday 5 and Sunday 6. Yes. Right. I know. So that is That's really cool. sad. Yes. And it is sad, right? Because I don't know why, but well, but okay. So um, let's see. Then it was a busy day, a stressful, I imagine. Right. Okay, Tony. But we're almost done with this day. But yes. you are going to work tomorrow, right? Till yes. you're going to have yes. off just on weekend. No, uh, because um, we don't stop in the sales. We need to start to start to yeah. stay with all my people. Um, in, included today, uh, we we are going to make a, a some platform test to mm -hmm. the eight and and thirty to almost eleven thirty or twelve o'clock uh, at midnight. Um, I'm still working right now, but but it's sad, but but <laughs> but I'm you enjoy it, <laughs> yes. I mean, <laughs> yes, I know, right? But at least you enjoy, it. yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, Tony, perfect. Well, okay. I see Atilio. Good evening. Good evening, Atilio. <laughs> Why? I am driving, oh, mommy. Okay, thank you. Yes, I know that you're driving. Mm, fine. fine. <laughs> okay, perfect. Adil is a taxi driver. Yes, yes. he's <laughs> always driving in class, right? But yes, Adil, at least you connect, right? That is good. Okay, Gracias. so, okay, thank you, Adil. We also have Jose. Uh, good evening, Jose. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Fine. Very uh, Right into to, to home. Oh, really? Okay, yes. I imagine yes, that you had I, a really busy day as well. Uh, not really. Okay. That is good. That I is was visiting my mom, so I, I, I didn't watch the time. I didn't oh. realize that, that it was late, so I run here. <laughs> Okay, got it. All right, guys. So perfect. Uh, we're going to start with today's class. And well, for today's class, we have different things that we're going to cover. So um, we have the warm up, then we're going to move to the topic, which is going to be parts of the speech. We also have listening quizzes and we have a grammar quiz based on the topic that we are going to cover today. We also have the speaking time. We also have the survey time that is going to be at 8 35. Um, then we have the wrap up and the end of our class, right? And the end of the module. So we are going to start with the warm up. And as a warm up, we have this stone twister, which is uh, kind of uh, easy but complex at the same time. So, guys, this one is for us to practice the, um, the C O O sound. So it goes like this How many cookies could a good cook? cook if a good cook could cook cookies a good cook could cook as much cookies as a good cook who could cook cookies yeah so this one is for us to practice the o o sound okay so let's see it okay so tony you go first okay okay <laughs> okay let's try how many cookies could a good cook cook? 
if a good cook 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 cookies, a good cook 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 as much cookies as a good cook cook. Okay. <laughs> yeah, maybe I'm... <laughs> All right. Thank you, Tony. Hey, Jose. Okay. Uh, how how many cookies could a good cook cook if a good cook could good cook cookies? A good cook cook a good cook could cook as much cookies as a good cook who could cook cookies. Okay. Thank you, Jose. Okay. Good. Abigail. How many cookies could a good cook cook if a good cook 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 cookies a good cook good cook as much cookies as a good cook who could cook cookie? Okay, thank you. Yes. All right, so I can see that uh, some of you are joining. I see, uh, let me see if I, yes, Luis Miguel. I see Carlos Omar. I see Maurice. Okay, good evening, Carlos. Can you please say the tongue twister? Me? Yes. Tongue twister. How yes. many cookies would a good cook cook if a good cook cook, cook cookies? A good cook could cook has much cookies has a good cook what call good cookies. Okay, who all right? Who who who? Yes, thank you. All right. Uh, let me see. Is a uh, Maris there? Luis Miguel. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Luis Miguel. Can you please say the tongue twister? Yes. Uh, how many cookies call a uh, good cook cook if? A uh, good cook cool, cook cookies. A uh, good cook cool, cool, cook as a uh, as much cookies as a uh, good cook who cool, cool cookies. Okay. Yes. Thank you. All right, guys. So we uh we're going to move on. Okay, to the grammar topic. Um, so we're going to start with this uh, topic, which is very important for us to, to know about. And this is um, whole parts of the speech. Yes, parts of the speech. And let's see. It says as an introduction, one of the grammatical groups into which words are divided, such as noun, verb, an adjective, etc. So we are going to cover it one by one. Yes, we have eight parts of the speech in English. So this one is related to grammar, yeah? Then uh, the first part of the speech that we have are nouns, yeah? So Tony, help us reading what are nouns. Nouns are words that are used to name people, places, animals, ideas, and things. Nouns can be classified um, into two main categories, common nouns, proper nouns. Common nouns are generic like ball, card, stick, etc. Yes. And proper nouns are more specific like Charles, the White House, the Sun, etc. Yes. Examples of nouns used in, used in sentence. Mm -hmm. She bought a pair of shoes. Think. I have a pet. Animal. Is my brother. Person. This is my school. Place. Thank you. All right, guys. So the first part of the speech that we are going to cover today are nouns. Yes. Um, I don't know if you remember, but we have common nouns and we also have proper nouns, yes? As common nouns, we can uh, mention the are genetic, like in this case, bed, sofa, shoes, computer, water, eh, sky, ceiling, wall, etc. Those are common nouns, okay? But we also have proper nouns. In this case, proper nouns are, eh, for example, your name is a proper noun. 
Yes. Then we also have uh, names of places. Yeah. Those are proper nouns. And something really important that you need to remember about proper nouns are that those are uh, always, always with a capital letter at the beginning. Yeah. Never lowercase. Never. Always capital letter as your name. Right. You write your name with capital letter. So proper nouns are written like that. Okay, with capital letters, the first letter. So we also have some examples right here, and we have highlighted uh, the nouns. Yes, pair of shoes, pet, brother, school. Those are nouns, common nouns. Yes. So the first part of the speech is this one, nouns. Then we also have the second part, which is pronouns. Yeah. Uh, Carlos Omar, help us reading this information. Okay, pronouns. Pronouns are words that are used to su su substitute a noun. In a sentence, there are different types of pronouns. Some of, the, of them are reflexive pronouns, possessive pronouns, relative pronouns, and indefinite pronouns. I, he, she, is, them, his, yours, anyone, nobody, who, it's, are some of the pronouns. Example, I reached home at six in the evening, first person singular pronoun. Did someone see a red bag in the counter? Indefinite pronoun. Mm -hmm. That is my mom, possessive pronoun. I heard myself yesterday when we when we were playing cricket reflexive pronoun. Yes, thank you. Okay, guys, so the second part of the speech is uh, pronouns. Yes? So, as you may know, pronouns like I, you, we, they, he, she, and it, but we also have other type of pronouns, right? Like possessive pronouns, reflexive pronouns, indefinite pronouns, someone, anybody, no one, relative pronouns as well. So we have different type of pronouns in English, okay? It is important that you um, identify the type of pronoun that we need to use in each sentence. You know most of them already, yeah? So we have uh, some examples right here. And as you can see on sentence number one, we have this first person singular pronoun, which is I. Then we also have on the second example, someone, which is considered indefinite pronoun. Yeah. And we have my, which is a possessive pronoun. You know those type of pronouns already. And we have myself, which is considered reflexive pronoun. Myself, himself, themselves, yourself, herself, etc. Yeah, those are called reflexive pronouns. All right. Uh, so this one is going to be the second part of the parts of the speech. We have eight. Remember that. So um, number three is going to be verbs you are familiar with this part of the speech with the verbs it is really easy for you now at the at the level that you are right so let's see um help us reading this information uh george is george there I think that he's yes, teacher. Oh, Sorry. Don't worry. Okay. The verbs, verbs, verbs are words that denote an action that is being performed by the noun or the subject in the sentences. Yes. They are also called action words some examples of verbs are read sit run pick garnish comb pitch etc she plays cricket every day there shana and aru are going to the movies 
my friend visited my last week. Did you have your breakfast? My name is Mina, Minashi Kishore. Yes. Okay. Thank you. All right. So verbs, as you may know, guys, um, a simple definition is going to be that verbs are actions, right? That we do, that we perform. We have different verbs, as you may know. We have verbs like um, in base form, we also have the ing. We have the verb to be. Yeah. So those are verbs, as you may see on the examples. Okay. So then we also have a, a adverbs. Well, adverbs, guys, I'm pretty sure that you are familiar with this because I remember that we uh, did cover this at some point. So adverbs basically are words that are used to provide more information about verbs, adjectives, and other adverbs used in a sentence. So in English, guys, there are five main types of adverbs. So in this case, we can mention adverbs of manner, adverbs of degree, adverbs of frequency, adverbs of time, adverbs of place. And some examples that we have when it comes to adverbs are the following. We have quickly, randomly, early, 10 a.m., etc. So in this case, we have some examples. Did you come here to buy an umbrella? This one is, here is the adverb of place. Yes, this adverb indicates place. I didn't go to school yesterday as I was sick. Yesterday, adverb of time. Okay, tomorrow, okay, today. Those are adverbs of time. Uh, Savio reads the newspaper every day. Adverb of frequency. Those are the most common ones that we use because we teach this whenever we are covering simple present tense, if you remember. Yeah, adverbs of frequency. Always, never, usually, sometimes, from time to time, ever, etc. Can you please come quickly? Those are adverbs of manner. And sometimes we have the adverbs that end in L-Y. Yeah, most of the words that end in L-Y are adverbs of manner. Most of them, but there are exceptions as well, right? So in this case, when it comes to adverbs, those are the types that we have in English, yeah? So then this one is number four. Now let's move to number five, which is adjectives. Can you please help us reading this, Carlos Omar? Uh, adjectives. Adjectives are words that you are words that are used to des describe or provide more information about the noun or the subject in the sentence. Some examples of adjectives include good, ugly, quit, beautiful, late, etc. Example, the place we visit yesterday was serene. Did did, did you see how big that Dog was. The weather is pleasant today. The red dress you wore in your birthday was lovely. Yes, thank you. Well, I'm pretty sure that you are familiar with adjectives, right? So adjectives are the ones that uh, describe, yes, different, um, I would say, nouns, places, things, people, etc. You are familiar with adjectives already, okay? And we have some of them right here. Uh, serene, big, pleasant, red, colors, lovely, right? Those are adjectives, okay? So this one is number five. What about number six? So for number six, we have prepositions, yeah? We have different type of prepositions, guys. We have many, many prepositions in English. Okay, so prepositions basically are words that are used to link one part of the sentence to another. Prepositions show the position of the object or subject in a sentence. And we have some examples right there. 
Okay? So in, out, besides, in front of, below, opposite, etc. Right? So we have different type of prepositions. If you remember, the most common ones, the ones that we use the most are at, in, and on. Yeah? Good evening, uh, Wendy. So Wendy, can you please help us reading the examples? Read the examples, Wendy. Example. The teacher asked the student to write line on the paper so that they call write in straight lines. The child hide his birthday present under his bed. Mm -hmm. Mom, Mom asked me to go to the store near my school. Yeah. Okay, in this case, repeat after me and say, ask. 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 Child. 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 Lines. 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 Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Okay, guys. Prepositions, uh, I mean, we have different prepositions in English, right? So this is going to be... Um, basically one of the most important parts of the speech right prepositions so we need to learn most of the prepositions and how to use them of course there are many um i would say um there there is a lot of material okay for you to learn prepositions okay so then we also have uh which is called conjunctions i don't know if you remember, guys, that at some point I mentioned something about fanboys. I'm pretty sure that some of you probably do, right? So fanboys are conjunctions, yeah? So conjunctions basically are a part of a speech that is used to connect to different parts of a sentence. And we also covered this in one of the modules, conjunctions. You, you remember about that, I think. So phrases and clauses. Some examples of conjunctions are in, or, for, yet, although, because, not only, etc. Yeah. So those are conjunctions because they help us to join two sentences. Okay. And we have one example. Mira and Jasmine had come to my birthday party. So we are using right there in, which is? A, a conjunction because it's joining two a nouns in this case and the idea yeah so conjunctions yeah then um the last one which is called interjections yeah so what are interjections this is the name this is the technical name for those type of phrases Interjections. And what are interjections? Can you please help us read in this part, Tony? Yes, teacher. Interjections are words that are used to convey strong emotions or feelings. Mm -hmm. Some examples of interjections are O, O, Alas. Alas, yes. Alas, uh, Alas, GP, etc. It is always followed by an exclamation mark. Yes. Wow, what a wonderful work of art. Mm -hmm. Yay, we won the match. Yes. So interjections are those phrases like, for example, oh my God, oh my, Jay, wow. Those are called interjections in English. Those type of phrases that show emotions. They are called... It's like the word exclamations, too. Yes, that is correct. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it is... Um, This is the technical name for those expressions that you use, right? Sometimes, like, oh, my God. Yeah. My goodness, right? Etc. There are many um, interjections in English. Yeah. Um, okay, guys. So basically, we have eight part of the speech and it is the same in Spanish 
I think. All right. Las partes del habla. Yeah. So we have nouns. We also have pronouns. Then we have verbs. Then we have adverbs. We also have adjectives. We have prepositions, which are really important. And then we have conjunctions. Okay. And the last part of the speech, which is interjections. So we have eight parts of the speech and you know all of these whenever you uh, like write uh, sentences you are using the parts of the speech yeah so let me show you um an example but not right now the survey not yet okay because we need to wait for um the administrative assistant to connect so in this case let me show you one example okay so in this case, as you can see right here, we have one sentence, but on this sentence, we have the eight parts of the speech. Yeah. So we have, the young girl brought me a very long letter from the teacher and then she quickly disappeared. Oh my. Yeah. So in this case, we have adjectives. You can see them in color blue. We also have verbs. You can look at them in color red. We also have nouns. And are the ones that are in pink? We also have adverbs. Okay, yes, it's okay. We also have adverbs, yeah, which are in green color. Then we have prepositions, guys. And as you may see, we have only one preposition on this sentence, and it is in purple. Yeah. We have conjunction, and we have only one as well, and this one is in. Interjection, it is this phrase. Oh, my. And look at that. We have the exclamation mark. And we also have pronouns, okay, in this case that we have she and me the object pronoun, object pronoun and pronoun, normal one. So we have, um, right here, we have the eight parts of the speech on this sentence, yeah? Of course, whenever we are speaking, we are not thinking about the eight parts of the speech, right? But it's important for you to identify all of these. Why? Because it will help you to speak better, to create better sentences, right? Mm -hmm. So do you have any question? Something that is um, maybe that is not clear, something that you say, hey, I don't get this or any type of question that you may have, guys. Uh -huh. No questions? Okay, now, if I ask you, which are the eight parts of the speech? Can you please let me know? Tell me the eight parts of the speech. Mm -hmm. Uh, which are the eight parts of the speech then? Okay, so I'm going to ask one by one. Um, okay, Nelly, can you please tell me what do you remember about the class that we have been covering? Which are the parts of the speech? Uh, good evening. Good evening, Nelly. Mm, can you repeat uh, the question, please? Yes. Which are the eight parts of the speech that we have in English? Um, introductions. Uh, uh -huh. Introduction. Um, 
body body of the speech or I don't know how do you say that um maybe the context okay okay and, now. Hmm? uh connectors okay connectors yes huh? and um maybe the objective okay and um the close or the final okay. point. All right. Thank you, Nell. All right. So let me ask um, the last one. Okay. So, Maida, what do you remember about the eight parts of the speech? Can you please mention at least four? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Um, verbs. Mm -hmm. Nouns. Yes. Pronouns. Okay. Um, uh, conjunctions. Okay. Um, inter interlection. Oh, interjections. Interjections. Um, Mm -hmm. Verbs, yeah, I saw. All right, yeah, yeah. Okay, thank <laughs> you. All right, perfect. Okay, yes, guys, don't forget. Okay, don't forget, guys, we have eight nouns, we also have pronouns, we have verbs, we also have adverbs, then we have adjectives, okay, prepositions, which are really important conjunctions and the last one is interjection all right okay yes uh -huh. so don't forget about this all right um let me see let me see somebody else okay i'm going to ask just one question wendy can you please give me examples wendy give me examples of verbs give me examples of verbs Huh? Yes. Give me examples of verbs. Uh, solo example. Yes. She plays. Como dice ahí, teacher. Lo miro. Oh, but give me. We get every day. Okay. Now give me one example, but create one you. She create play. one. Create one sentence with a verb. Wendy? No lo entiendo, teacher. Okay, so you need to create one sentence, Wendy. Mm -mm. Uh -huh. No? No. Okay. Um, let me see. Emerson, can you please help Wendy? Create one sentence okay, using a new verb. Okay. Um... For example, uh, Mario needs practice more. Okay, Mario needs to needs practice. practice more. To okay. practice more. To practice more. Thank you. Uh, all right. Okay, guys. So we are going to start with uh, the survey. All right. So in this case, I need to please, guys, pay attention to the instructions. All right the ones that i'm going to give you because um okay let me see all right so i'm going to give you some instructions guys and we need to take the survey together okay so if you want you may go to the link that we have on the whatsapp group go there go to the whatsapp group and you need to click on the link um if you don't have it i can send it right here yeah, so you can open the link from here. All right, guys. Once you are there, let me know.
Okay, so once you are there, guys, you are going to see this page, right? So I'm going to send, let me see, let me just, yes. So we are going to enter, guys, right here, the provider's uh, code, okay? Vale, le voy a dar el número que tiene que ingresar acá, que básicamente será el orden de inicio, ¿ya? Yeah? El número que tiene que ingresar is the following, okay? Is this one. Así como se lo mando, copie y pegue. Then you need to add your full name. Yes, full name, your email. Okay. Yes. Eh, el enlace, regálemelo que me sacó Zoom. Ah, ok. Ahorita se lo Ok, ahí está en el chat de Zoom. Bye. So, el número de orden, eh, Atilio, el siguiente. Ok, guys. Eh, full name, email, mm -hmm. cell phone number. Uh, you add. Okay. Um. Okay. Your city, guys. So you choose, right? Where you live. Okay, after that, you add number seven as well. Once you are done with number seven, we are going to move to number eight, which is going to be the your company's name. Okay, your company's name. Okay, so on number nine, guys, we are going to look for Inglés Corporativo, uh, Regal International, SADCB. You need to choose that one. So which is going to be the course name? The course name is going to be the following. Like that. Copy and paste. Inglés Intermedio Módulo 3. Así como se lo mando. Okay. Once you are done with that, number 10, okay, the course name, I need you to please Take your time, two minutes, right, to think about this. Piense muy bien eh, la número 11 y la completa. Ok, tómese su tiempo, dos minutos, ok. Y luego nos vamos a mover a la número 12. ¿Ya? Yeah. Okay, so once you are done with that, let's move to number 12. And we started on June 26. Okay, 
So let's look for June and you need to choose 26, June 26. And then we are finishing today. So you are going to choose July 31st. June 26. Yes, June 26. After that, we are going to move to 14. Yes, on this one, you are going to choose if you are satisfied or not. And then 15, you need to mention if you would like to study any other type of courses, for example, marketing, Excel, right? Um, TOEFL preparation as well. And then you can add some comments if you want. Once you are done, you please hit send and you need to take a screenshot or a picture. And please send your uh, picture or a screenshot to the WhatsApp group with your full name. Yeah, full name, guys. Okay. Um, I see Sandra, I see Carlos Vladimir, I see George, I see Eduardo. Um, okay. Those are the ones that I see with the full name. I see Juan Jose Herrera. Teacher, where is the uh, day we... You started? Um, yes, yes, yes. yes, June 26. 26. 26, June. 26. Thank you. Okay. Okay, I'm missing some of you guys. Okay, I got Nelly. I got Maris, okay. Atilio. Okay. Okay, thank you, Wendy. Um, okay, thank you, Emerson. Okay, Jose. Um, okay, Mayra. I really recommend you to take it as soon as possible, okay?
Okay, I go Kenya, I go Carla. Um, who am I missing? Let me see, who am I missing? Oh, I think that I'm missing. Let me see, who am I missing? Yes, I'm missing Carlos Omar. I got Jonathan. I'm missing Carlos Omar. And... Sí, yo ya estuve, pero no le puse el nombre. Ahorita lo reenvío. Ah, oh, yes, please. Ah, oh, yes, please. Okay. Thank you. Sorry. Thank Mm, I think that I'm missing Luis Miguel as well. I'm not sure. Let me see. Yes. Mm. Thank you. Thank you, Carlos. Mm. Okay. Yes, I got Anthony. Okay. All right, guys. Thank you. So let's see. Let's continue. Okay. Let's continue with um basically the class. And let's move. And okay. So right now, what we are going to do is that we need to work on this. So we have this chart. Yeah, and we have the function and we also have some examples. So what you need to do is that you need to describe which part of the speech is each one. And you have the eight parts of the speech right here. But you need to decide which is each part, okay? Uh, based on the function and the example. After that, I need you to please create uh, some example sentences, okay, with each part of the speech. That means that you are going to create eight sentences, okay? So, and you need to highlight the part of the speech. For example, you are going to create one sentence using nouns, and you are going to highlight the noun. The same thing as I have done right here. Then, with pronouns and you are going to highlight the pronoun yes one sentence for each okay but first we need to work on this chart once you are done with this we are going to move to this all right do you have any question do you have any doubt no Okay. Teacher, it's raining. <laughs> okay, don't worry. Thank you.
Recording in progress. Identify. Identify. <clears throat> For example, number two, I should or stay at some time. Verbs. Mm -hmm. The second one. Is person, play, theme, or idea, noun. Nouns. Oh, that is class 24. My internet is slow. <laughs> ¿Qué pasó, Carla? Eh, wait a uh, one minute because the okay. internet is eh, very low. Yes, because uh, it's raining. <laughs> yes, and it's wow. raining a lot. I know. Bueno. Si querés, Emerson, vamos buscando oh. nosotros cada nombre, cada uno y... Mm -hmm. Después te damos la respuesta para avanzar. Ok, okay. Two minutes, please. Ok. 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 Action or stay is a verb. Go, come, bueno, eat, pero, try, can. Pero, the number action, one. Pero, it's verb. Verb, verb. Verb, okay. And the second one, no. Person, people, uh, things and ideas. So this is a um, noun? No. Verb. Describe al nombre. Number three. Number three, describe the number. I think that I'm going to bring Tony, so probably he can share the screen. Thank you, teacher. Yes. I can. The first nouns to say used to name to place people, place animals, ideas, and things. Huh? Ah. C 
Sí, ahí yo me acuerdo una que, por ejemplo, nombres de personas, lugares, animales, ideas. ¿En cuál? En the first, in the first part of the speech. For example, uh, my mom buy a shoes. Es correcto, no sé. Uh, no, it's not correct. My mom bought my mom. or buys. Buy a shoes. Shoes. A shoes, no, because a is singular. Entonces no podemos decir un zapatos. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Cierto que aquí no se puede marcar. Bueno, cambiar color ahí. En la oración, ¿verdad? No, I think I use should. Ok, you should like highlight just for, for example, right? I, I, I want to write it in, in capital. Ah, ah, ok. Excellent. Ok. So, what was the, the sentence? Oh, I said in the chat. Okay. My mom buys third person, Carlos. Buys. Buys. My mom buys a new pair of shoes. The second noun. Noms. At England, car love. Noms. Oh. On next. Holy days. Oh, On next holiday, travel to. I don't know. Oh, oh. To Spain. Spain. Third objectives. Son said roots. Beautiful. Um, adverse. Adverse. For example, yesterday I was I I been in San Salvador. I was in San Salvador.
but there is no adverb. Adverbs. Well, badly, very often, really. I oh. Oops, in Salvador. Very often. <clears throat> Pronoun. I, you, they, he, her, they. Ours. Yes, to give the book to her. Back. Give back. Back. Position to on at in over. Mm. <laughs> I forgot. My cell phone on my bed. <clears throat> on the options. And the uh, but or however if when. Who? Mm -hmm. Entonces, uh, in this case, I want to. I go to emphasize swim. Okay, no le or, el... or maybe so bright, so bright, so cool. que es nombre. To to do. Maybe. En el sí podemos ponerle el nombre. Yes. Yes, of course. You no. told me. No. I'm going to swim in the pool. And parenthesis. No. I'm the key was verb. Verb. Yeah, like verb. This okay. one to swim. Okay. Mm -hmm. In this case, I'm going to emphasize with another color. Oh my gosh. Maybe I don't know how I to. Pre I prefer a fox breeder. Oh, this maybe, maybe uh -huh. can I try it in, 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 in word? Ah. It's more easy. Okay. Yes. It is easier. It's easier. <laughs> it is easier. Oh, the word. Okay. Estoy peleando todavía, pero me dice. Voy, voy, voy. Ajá. Hacer lo que yo quiero. Ok. If uh, PDF lector. 
Reader, 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 reader. It is reader is better. Foxy, when the name is Foxy, reader. <laughs> I don't, I don't, don't know. I see this is limit. Okay, in word is better. That's right. And in this case, we want to. In my screen with word. No, no, it's not the word. Uh, it's white, white, white. Okay. Okay. Ese va a ser el próximo curso, quizás. Ok. Mí, para mí. Ok. I'm swimming. I'm, I'm going to swim the pool. Girl. Bear, okay. And swim is that I need to show. I... Okay, the second yeah. one is? is? He is my teacher. She is my teacher. It's now. No. Okay. Hoy vamos. Um, pronoun mm -hmm. that is my parent sorry could you replace it that, that is, is my parent, my parent. Mm -hmm. that is that de papa my ah, no. that is maybe it's more, more that, accessible. he is my dad that. Uh, this pronoun. Yeah. Pronoun. Okay. Verbo. Ya lo tenemos. Verbo. Hoy vamos con. My teacher. I did. I did. Go to the movie yesterday. Peter, can I keep okay? They are, they are Peter, Peter, yeah, Peter. Yesterday. What do you want to emphasize? At bear. At bear. At bear. Yes, see, at bear. Yes, sir. At bear. Yes, sir. Okay. One. Adjective. I see no thing. You will you objective. She is so beautiful. Okay, another example. Adjective, a verb, pronoun, noun, verb, interjection, uh -huh, uh -huh. conjunction, okay. a preposition. Okay. Yeah. Interjection. Preposition. Conjunction. 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 Uh -huh. Conjunction. <laughs> 
En conjunción, conjunción. Uh -huh. escribí eh, Tony en Carla have angry. Is correct? Oh, Tony and Carla are. Are, are. Ah, uh, no. Are. Hungry. No, mm. no. Hungry. It's conjunction. On the time. <laughs> yes, it is. Morris. Okay. Interjection. Inter Interjection. Interjection. It's true. It's, it's true. <laughs> wow. What the hell? Perdón. Perdón, perdón, perdón. <laughs> Maurice. <laughs> okay, Maurice. <laughs> <laughs> Lo que sueño. <laughs> okay, guys, are you done? Yes. Let me let me let me check your your sentences. Okay. Let me see verbs, nouns, adjectives, mm -hmm. adverbs, yes, pronouns, yes, prepositions, yes, conjunctions, yes. Yes. Excellent. Okay. My mom buys a new pair of shoes. Okay. On next holidays, I'm going to travel to Spain, okay? Oh, I'm going like, instead of T, at the end, G. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, the sunset, okay, the sunset is plural or singular? Singular. It is singular. Yes. So, yes. I go to San Salvador very often, okay? He has to give back the book to her. Okay. I forgot my cell phone on my bed. Yes. I tried to talk to her, but she didn't want to hear. Uh Number seven, which part of the speech is conjunction? So, please, but. Uh, but. Yeah. Okay. Wow, that the landscape looks awesome from this place. From this place. Okay. Yes. Give me one minute. Okay. Because the other team is still working on, on the sentences, but they are almost done. Give me one or two minutes. Okay. Good. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to... We're talking about the teacher. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> hmm, okay, guys. So let me see. Um, Are you done? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay, let's go. <laughs> okay, let's go back. Okay, let's go back. Thank you. Yes. Okay, so we are going to start with um, Maurice, Tony, okay? So share your answers. Mm -hmm. 
this one or the previous part, teacher? Um, the previous part as well. Okay, I'm going. Let me, let me, let me, let me copy and paste. Okay. Problem. 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 Okay. Maybe. From. Then. Okay. Uh. Okay. Sorry for the technical issues. Don't uh, worry. And this one I need to. Yeah, yeah, it's good. Mm. Okay, within that, the the first one is a bear because uh, the function, the principal function is for um talk about an action. Yes. Go, come, be, try, you can do. And the mm -hmm. second one is a noun because they are talking about the person or places or ideas too. Um, in this case, maybe a, a proper noun and what is another type? Common uh, noun. Common noun, yes, exactly. Yes. Okay. Please uh, help me to, to describe the second one and the, the third and the fourth. Carla, please, and then Mauricio, and then uh, I don't remember who more is in the, in the group. Okay. okay. Uh, number two, noun. A uh, function is per person, place, thing, or idea. Mm -hmm. uh, examples, match, England, car, and love. Mm -hmm. uh, adjective, describe a uh, noun. Mm -hmm. And some examples, uh, English, small, some, exile. Bear. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, describe, I don't know. Yes, a verb, describe a verb or adjective. Uh, examples, well, badly, very often, really, in a way. Split. Okay, Maurice. Okay. Okay. Number four. Part of the page adverb function describe a verb or adjective. Okay. Well, badly, very, often, really, away. Uh -huh. And the five part of the page pronoun function replaces a noun. Uh -huh. I, you, they, he, her, they, ours. Yes. Emerson. Emerson. Hello. Continue. Preposition. Okay. Preposition links a word to a noun. To, on, add, in, over. Conjunctions, joint sentences or clauses, and, but, or, however, if, when. In interjections, short exclamation, oh, well, high stuff. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, so now the examples for each part of the speech. You see? Okay. Sorry, the first one is describing a verb. Um, I'm going to swim in the pool. Uh, we are um, for line of the, the, the word swim because it's the principal action. 
or is the action. Okay. And the second one, she is my teacher. So she is my teacher. Sorry, sorry. She is my teacher and the noun is she. Mm. On number two, I think that the noun is going to be teacher. Because she is the pronoun. Gosh. Teacher, no. Uh -huh. Okay. We are describing. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Uh -huh. In this case, uh huh. <laughs> She and teacher. Mm. Um, no, yeah, you're you're right. Just because if I uh, train to use she, uh -huh. we are talking about the, the other the other part of of the of the speech. Uh, exactly, because yeah. this is a pronoun. Uh -huh. We use I, she, he, it. Yes. Okay. This is a cases the noun exactly in this case i have an issue this one is the pronoun okay Me. yes mm -hmm. okay is my dad like a pronoun yes mm -hmm. okay okay please help me um emerson the number four I did go to the movie theater yesterday. The number five, she's uh, beautiful. Mm -hmm. Interjection. Wow. Please help wow. me, Carlita or, or Emerson. Me, me, me. <laughs> or wow, number six. Wow, look, the new car of. Mauricio, mm -hmm. the wow is the intersection. Interjection. Uh -huh. Number seven, and Tony and Carla are hungry all the time. Mm -hmm. Conjunction is. Conjunction. Conjunction mm -hmm. is end. And the last, my dog is under the table with waiting for food. The preposition is under. Excellent. Okay, very good, guys. Well done. Okay, excellent. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so now let's uh, move with the other team, which is, uh, let me see, Jose. Jose, Carlos. Hey, teacher. Uh, for the part of the speech, uh, we have the same as Tony has. Yes. Verbs, nouns, adjectives, adverbs, pronouns, proposition, conjunctions, and interjections. Perfect. <laughs> With examples. Mm -hmm. uh, for, for the verb, we have my mom buys a new pair of shoes. Mm -hmm. And the noun on next holiday, I'm going to travel to Spain. Mm -hmm. um, with the third example, the sunset looks beautiful. Mm -hmm. Carlos, do you want to share the last? Number four. I go to San Salvador very often. Alberts. Number five. He has to give back the book to her. Is pronoun. Six. I forgot my cell phone on my bed. Preposition. Number seven. I tried to, to talk to her, but she didn't want to hear. Uh -huh. Wow, the landscape looks handsome from this place. 
Peter Jason. Okay, yes. Conjunction, okay, pronunciation, conjunction, and here. Okay, perfect. Yes. Excellent. I don't want any, uh, well, I don't have any type of observation on that one. Okay, so I'm going to take the attendance, okay? Um, Atilio Ernesto Castillo? Present. Thank you. Carlos Omar Linares? Present. Thank you. Carlos Vladimir Rodriguez? Carlos Vladimir? All right. Eduardo Franco Núñez? Present, teacher. Thank you. Emerson Ulises Monroy Calix? Present, yes. Thank you. Fátima Gabriela Loza Castillo? Jonathan José González Domínguez? Present, Luis. Thank you. Um, George Antonio Sánchez Quiñones? Present, teacher. Thank you. Jose Bernardo Lopez Montes. Present, Miss. Thank you. Juan Antonio Elías Flores. Gracias. Present, teacher. Thank you. Juan Jose Herrera Alvarenga. Present, teacher. Thank you. Carla Sofía Argueta Chévez. Present. Thank you. Kenia Elizabeth Rodríguez Zelaya. Present, teacher. Thank you, Kenia. Luis Miguel Corbera Enriquez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Mauricio Antonio Velázquez. Yes. Present teacher. Thank you, Maurice. Eh, Mayra Cecilia Peña de Aparicio. Present teacher. Thank you, Mayra. Nelly Lilibeth Andrade García. Present. Thank you. Raúl Antonio Jordán Miranda. Sandra Abigail Bonilla Cano. And Wendy Maricela Ramírez Guevara. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay, guys. Very good. So now let's move. And what we are going to do is that we are going to take the grammar quiz. Yeah. So the grammar quiz has 10 questions and basically is about this topic, the one that we just covered. Yeah. So let me send the link so you can uh, have it. All right. So there you go. That one is the link for the grammar quiz and the passcode is grammar in capital letters. So in this case, uh, you are going to be evaluated in parts of the speech, guys, okay? Parts of the speech. Be careful, read, yes? And I'll give you a couple of minutes, okay? So I'll give you, I think, well, nine minutes, okay? So you can think. Parts of the speech.
Okay. All right, so... Okay, right. I got most of you. And I can see that some of you got 100, okay, 90s, 80s, 70s, and so on. Okay, perfect. All right. Now let's take the first listening quiz. Um, there you go. And the passcode is listening. Okay. Same thing, guys. Those are short listenings. Those are not um, long ones. Okay. So I'm going to play this one three times just in case. So here we go with the first time, okay? This is DJ Dan rocking you through the night. If you have something you'd like to hear, give me a call. My number here is 789-7899. Again, it's 789-7899. And don't worry, any request is okay, no matter how old it is. That's the advantage of a late night show. Anything is possible. Who is making this announcement? Okay. Okay, here we go again. This is DJ Dan, rocking you through the night. If you have something you'd like to hear, give me a call. My number here is 789-7899. Again, it's 789-7899. And don't worry, any request is okay, no matter how old it is. That's the advantage of a late night show. Anything is possible. Who is making this announcement? Okay. And the last time. This is DJ Dan, rocking you through the night. If you have something you'd like to hear, give me a call. My number here is 789-7899. Again, it's 789-7899. And don't worry, any request is okay, no matter how old it is. That's the advantage of a late night show. Anything is possible. Okay. Who Thank is making this announcement? Okay, I can see that all of you got 100, okay? Let me see, somebody else. Yes. Very good. Okay. Uh, the last, okay, the last. There you go, and the passcode is the same. Listening, okay? Let me see. Okay. Um. Okay, so here we go with the second listening. Okay. Same thing, I'm going to play it three times, okay? I got my health insurance today, but there is something about it I don't quite understand. It's only valid in six major cities. I was thinking it's valid nationwide. I'm going to be doing business in many of the cities in which my insurance is not valid. What if something happens there? I feel ripped off. If I had known all the details beforehand, I wouldn't have bought it. I'm sure there are better deals with other companies. What is the man complaining about? Okay. Again, okay. I got my health insurance today, 
but there is something about it I don't quite understand. It's only valid in six major cities. I was thinking it's valid nationwide. I'm going to be doing business in many of the cities in which my insurance is not valid. What if something happens there? I feel ripped off. If I had known all the details beforehand, I wouldn't have bought it. I'm sure there are better deals with other companies. What is the man complaining about? Okay, and the last time. I got my health insurance today, but there is something about it I don't quite understand. It's only valid in six major cities. I was thinking it's valid nationwide. I'm going to be doing business in many of the cities in which my insurance is not valid. What if something happens there? I feel ripped off. If I had known all the details beforehand, I wouldn't have bought it. I'm sure there are better deals with other companies. What is the man complaining about? Okay. Okay, on this one, most of you got just the health, right? Teacher, I was yes. confused in, in, in so many words that I don't understand in in the in the speech yes um maybe until the last uh the, the last phrases uh, and was confused because he said that he he's going to make business in another cities but i don't understand is in another cities or in another companies i i don't know um mm -hmm. Okay. Because they, they use uh, so many words that I don't understand. Do, don't or gold. Maybe it's dudas or, or eran perros. Es que no entendía que es lo que decía. Oh. Yes, I'm going to share the, the... Okay. Yes. This is the, the, um, the script. So I got my health insurance today, but there is something about, about it I don't quite understand. It's only valid in six major cities. I was thinking it's valid nationwide, nacionalmente. I'm going to be doing business in many of the cities in which my insurance is not valid. What if something happens there? I feel ripped, ripped off. off. I don't understand what is ripped off. Ripped off is a phrasal verb, and that means estafado. I feel ripped off means me siento estafado. If I had, if I had known, this one is third conditional. If mm -hmm. I had known all the details beforehand. What is the meaning of beforehand? Means previamente. Si hubiese sabido todos los detalles previamente, I wouldn't have bought it. Bought it. Ah, okay, bought it. No, oh, yeah, como que era. Okay, that. no lo entendí. Uh -huh. And here is companies. I'm sure there are better deals with other companies. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Okay, very good. All right. Mm -hmm. So you see? All right. Now let's move, guys, and let's um work on speaking. Okay, we're almost done with today's class, so we're going to practice this for about 10 minutes. Okay, so we have a couple of questions right here. What professions are overpaid and which are underpaid? What do you think? What do you enjoy spending money on? Do you prefer to pay by cash or plastic? When we say plastic, that means credit or debit card, right? 
Then we also have, if you could ask um, the, uh, the president one question, what would you ask? What's your favorite activity to do with your family? Okay. And what's your favorite meal of the day? Breakfast, lunch, dinner, why? Okay. Then we also have some um, pictures right there for you to describe. And we have two questions. Why might the people be doing these things together? They are skiing. They are cooking. They are playing instruments. How might the people be feeling? I want you to describe. Yeah. So let's work on this, guys. And then we're done with our class. All right. So just let me go ahead and create the breakout rooms again. And let's practice. Recording in progress. Hello. Hello. Hello, Carlos. Are you there? Hello. Oh, yes. Okay. okay. But, but but when you you work in the in a factory. I think this kind of uh, job is underpaid. I know somebody who the government paint only for read new papers all days. Mm. Here? Sorry? Here in the country? Yes, here. Well, that's, that's good, I think. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> yes. She is looking for um how did you say the, the part of the, the newspaper are talking about articles? Articles. Mm. Oh articles? Articles uh of talking about the government. She looking for, for some for for this article. Mm, okay. Interesting. Yes. Mm -hmm. The government paid one hundred dollar for that. Okay. One hundred dollar for article. Sorry, sorry, sorry. One thousand dollar one thousand dollars. Oh wow. <laughs> that is good. Yes. Okay. The underpaid, I think the people who work in the in the farm in our country. Maybe yeah. in the supermarket. Mm -hmm. Um, okay, I think uh, overpaid could be politics, I think, and people underpaid 
waitress or uh, I, I think that they have a very difficult job uh, how do you say um at, at serving uh sometimes serving uh difficult people mm -hmm. it's difficult to handle with a uh, different kind of people yes Underpay is salario, yeah. teacher. Underpaid? Okay. Yes, actually, underpaid is that they have low salary. Okay. Low. Low. I think in the Salvador, uh, all all profession uh, yeah. are underpaid uh, because uh, I. I looking for a new job, and the the most pay is uh, four hundred dollar, and five hundred dollar for a uh, a professional in the in the cualquier rama. Okay. Yes. I think the 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 police the politics politicians are, politicians are overpaid. Uh -huh. or or some war in the government have a good salary mm. yes okay so what do you enjoy spending money on excuse okay. me what do you enjoy spending money on Uh, for me, uh, I like to spend money going up with my family mm -hmm. eat or a uh, visited place. And you, Carla? I spend money on food and visit places. In my case, I don't have that kind of feeling when I spend money. <laughs> in my case, uh, I spend money in food and 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 travel to in the in the country, no new place. Okay, my opinion. Uh, I enjoy spending money. Uh, buying buying something by uh, for my car, different different new thing for my car, or maybe uh, go out with my friend to different places, uh, or go to the beach and, and boat different cocktail sales or trim. I love the uh, all cocktails. Usually spend mm -hmm. money and go to the mountain and sometimes go to the beach with my family. It's all. Okay. Okay. Do you prefer to pay by cash or plastic? Uh, I prefer plastic <laughs> because I I don't feel <laughs> spend money. <laughs> okay. but, in my case, I prefer paying in cash, but sometimes I prefer in 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 debit card. Okay, for me, I like to pay in the cash. Oh. Plastic bag. Emerson. I usually pay a, a credit, a debit card. Mm -hmm. I prefer the plastic. 
because in my case, I prefer plastic too. I think it's easy to pay. And nowadays, only it's not necessary to use the, the credit. Only with the QR, you can use your cell phone. If you pay like, uh, like uh, I, don't, I don't remember, like then the new money from El Salvador, I don't know, the Bitcoin. Big time. <laughs> like a bit like a bitcoin only with pay with yourself maybe you you i think well, in my case i use back and da vivienda and both are this type this type of pay only with your cell phone about for qr mm -hmm. In my case, I prefer to the credit card because I I find many promotions to to collect points. Mm -hmm. Okay. I collect fifty bucks every month. That is good. Yes, it's sure. <laughs> Okay. All right. Okay, guys, let's go back. Okay. Let's go back. Thank you. Okay. okay, thank you. Okay, perfect, guys. So, guys, we have reached the end of this module. All right. All right. Okay. All right. So, I really thank you uh, for being actually present, okay, during classes. Right. And I just want to mention this. OK, you need to um, maybe keep in mind that it doesn't matter what others are doing. It matters what you are doing. OK, so I really hope you continue with your classes, guys. And I hope to actually um, maybe see you in advanced levels. All right. So in this case, guys, thank you very much for learning with us. And I hope you take care and enjoy your vacations. All right. So take care, guys. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye.